typically flu season, it can start any time, but for the most part, CDC recognizes pretty much October 1st till about March is usually our flu season, what we consider flu season um, right now. Basically fever, um, general fatigue, um, sometimes they will have runny noses, cough, uh, just all of the things you would think of as a typical cold, um, but mostly fever. Uh, sometimes, you know, sometimes babies can't, but, you know, children can say, I don't feel good, I, I, my body aches, chills, um, those type things for the flu. It runs from September to March, so anytime, uh, but we usually want people to get it before the end of October so that it, you know, we can uh, have it during the height of the flu season and people have been vaccinated. I think uh, we know that flu vaccines work. We, we've had flu vaccines for years and years, so we do know that flu being vaccinated as a whole works. So it's, to provide that extra protection for our kids is so important. Just like any other vaccination, we want to make sure we're giving them the extra to try to get through the season without um, becoming flu positive. If you remember correctly, a few years ago, they actually deleted the flu mist mm -hmm. um, that, from the FDA. And this year, they actually have a new one, which is brand new for this year, um, that they have come out with. There's not a lot of data on it yet, but I do know that, that it is available um, through for patients. I think we do all the things we know that works. Uh, first of all, hand washing is the number one thing that we can do to make sure, cover your cough, uh, making sure you're staying home when you're sick, staying away from other people that are sick, um, and, and watching for signs and symptoms are some of the main things. But it, good hand hygiene is always, um, because we usually contaminate ourselves with our hands to our face and our nose, and that's how we contract flu, RSV, COVID, all of those things.